Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And today we are on the Carnival Splendor. I'm going to be giving you a room tour of our room, $63.97. It is a balcony room. It's exciting because we never get balconies. Literally, this is only the second one I've ever been in. First one was because we were in Alaska and my dad had to have a balcony. Which makes sense when you're in Alaska or P the Panama Canal cruise, there's a lot of like uh, animal watching, things to do off the balcony. Here, it's just ocean, but let me give you a tour of the room. When you come in, as always, there is our little uh, row of closets. So the first one has your life jackets and a full row of hanging. This cabin, while it could potentially seat three, is a max two occupancy. So you'll never have a third person in this specific cabin. Now there's shelf and a little shelf on the bottom. And then four shelves. There is still a safe, don't worry, but it's not in the closet. It's in a different spot. Either way, while this balcony room is the same layout as a lot of the other balcony rooms that are a max three or even four person capacity, depending on how many people are in the ship, certain rooms only have capacity for two or three people. Um, and this room is a two person capacity. So even if we wanted to bring another person and have the couch turned into a bed, which is what they normally do on a third person cabin or a Pullman come down from the ceiling for a four person, it's not available in this specific cabin. Which gives us lots of space to store all of our bags with our magnets on the wall. Our steward has been letting us keep our towel animals, which we're excited about. We have a little table and a little chair. We went up to the spa earlier today, so we need new towels. But the bathroom is the same as every other carnival ship we've ever been on. Got a little uh, drawstring clothesline <laughs> in the shower. Got all your towels, your mirror, your shelves, your sink. As always, it's a wet bathroom, so you can uh, get everything wet. It will dry, but obviously the shower curtain to try and keep that from happening. We have our hot and cool temperature gauge. We have our two beds, or of course you can have your steward put those two beds together into a king-sized bed. And since we are on the ship for 17 days, we did ask our room steward for mattress pads and the blue blankets because then you don't have to bring your own blankets. You, you never need to bring your own blankets, but we usually bring at least one blanket uh, just because mom doesn't like the big uh, duvet. It's too heavy for her. I, on the other hand, like as many blankets as possible. All preference, but they do have them on the ship if you ask. We have our vanity here and it is a half drawer can't open it right now because mom has the fan cord like really inconveniently. <laughs> so here we go. It's a half drawer with the hair dryer and a little space here. The drawers underneath this are all the way full drawers. So four of those with the bottom drawer being the deepest one. Have a stool in our trash can, phone, there are two outlets in this room, one here for your American plug and one here for an Australian plug. You have the vanity with the lights and of course lights go up and around. And you have this weird light. I, I never know what to do with that. You have the tiniest TV ever. Mini fridge and as always we keep something just right in the door here because as long as it does not close, it will stay much colder. Looks like mom made it up to the buffet at some point. I was in the shower. And that's about it. We've got a little bit of 
extra cabinets here that we always keep food and snacks in. And there is our safe. My sodas that I grab so I don't have to pay for the soda package because your girl does not want to spend that much money on soda. No. We do have our uh, little hook here letting our phone chargers go all the way over to the bed because there is not the USB side tables on this ship like there are on other ships. This ship is going to dry dock, I think, in the next couple months, so hopefully they will get them. But as of now, if you want to charge your phones by your bed, you do need to bring a surge protector. We like ours. I also always use this space at the foot of the beds for our over-the-door hooks, uh, where we keep extra snacks, ducks to hide, all the essentials, and then the balcony. <laughs> I will show you that while the, the curtain goes all the way across, we use one of these magnets to hold it in place. It's going to get too dark when I do this. We hold it right in place here at night. Otherwise, you have just an outline of light all the way around the window and two chairs and a table. All in all, a very good room. And I swear, I don't know what it is, but the beds on this ship are the most comfortable ones I've ever had on a carnival ship. So, so far, I am loving the Splendor. Told Mom it's the only ship I'm booking from now on. Which is obviously not true because we book for the itinerary, not for the ship. But we'll pretend it's true, okay? I am liking it. If you want to see more about the ship, I will do a full cruise. Uh, tour of the entire Carnival Splendor later in this cruise. I'm also going to be doing a full spa tour since we are using spa passes this cruise, including your girl is getting a massage tonight. So as many rooms as I can get photos and uh, images of, we will be doing. In the meantime, we are going to Noumea tomorrow and we have our first excursion of this 25 day journey. So Make sure you're always watching cruise videos come out every Wednesday on my channel, and I hope you enjoy. Bye!